family today is Sonia wash their routine and her hair feels very very hard because of the change in the weather the temperature so I'm going to be putting together an amazing moisturizing deep conditioner treatment for her now let me just show you all the ingredients that I have I got my aloe vera juice if you don't have aloe vera juice just use regular distilled water and then I got my organic aloe vera powder. If you would love to see how to make aloe vera powder from fresh aloe vera, I will also leave that video down in the description box for you. And then I got my handmade natural organic shea butter. My company sells this, so if you want to buy your own natural shea butter directly from Ghana, I will leave my website link down below. And then I also have my 21 ingredient growth oil, my S secret growth oil. And then I got my carrot growth oil. And then I will also be using my aloe vera butter. Now, many of you guys been asking if we are doing a Black Friday sale this year. Yeah, we are. We've been working so hard to get these products in stock. So we will be doing a Black Friday sale starting from my birthday on my birthday, November 24th up to November 29th. So make sure you lay your hands on these oils because they don't stay in stock for too long. And I know the Black Friday sale, we're going to be able to sell a lot. So make sure you just stock up if you love these products and you should love it because they are all natural and organic handmade so let's just go and put all our ingredients together this is a step-by-step -step process so I'm just going to show the whole process for you to see exactly how I'm doing it the first thing we're going to do is get our raw shea butter I'm just going to slice some piece out and then for it to melt faster I'm also going to further chop it up in smaller pieces and when you're dealing with natural organic shea butter, make sure you are doing a double border matter. You don't want to expose your shea butter to direct heat. So we will be doing a double border matter. Sonia hair is very long and very thick. So just going to slice another piece. You can put the amount that you need according to your hair length and your hair thickness. If your hair is not as long and as thick, you can always reduce your ingredients. So that's enough shea butter. Got there, just going to wrap that up. And then the next, our next butter is just our aloe vera butter and this is how it's looking it's a bit soft so this is the total amount of butter that I got for Sonia here Now we are going to melt this butter using the double bottle matter and then we'll be right back to continue. Now our butter is um, melting. I'm now just going to mix our aloe vera powder with our aloe vera juice. Again, you can use regular water. After mixing our aloe vera, this is how it is looking. A bit runny our butter is ready I'm now just going to transfer it to a dry surface and add in the rest of our ingredients I'm going in with one tablespoon of our S secret growth oil one tablespoon of our carrot growth oil I'm just going to mix it together and then slowly pour in our aloe vera powder that we mix. So 
So you should have something like this. We are now just going to cover this up with a cling wrap and put it in the freezer for about 15 to 20 minutes. So this is how Sonia hair is looking. I'm now just going to take it down and then I will do her pre-pull treatment. I do her shampoo treatment and then we'll come back to apply the butter to her hair because we need to apply the butter on clean hair. To get a very soft, fluffy butter, I would recommend that you do not keep your butter in the freezer too long before it becomes too much solidified. You should be able to put your fingers into it. And then also make sure that you do not blend it too long. Maybe five minutes or four minutes blending it just to make the butter to start developing. That's enough. Because don't forget, we also added an aloe vera powder to it that will mix with the water. Now, if you blend too much, you're going to put too much air into your butter and it's going to become hard. And if that happens, all you have to do is just put it back on the stove and then melt it down and put it in your freezer again. So now that I got my fluffy butter, what I'm going to do is just immediately apply it to Sonia here. You guys have seen me apply products to our hair multiple times. So just so the video cannot be too long, I'm just going to go off camera, apply the product to hair, and then I'll come back and just show you how the product is looking on her hair. And I love the texture of the butter. And the moment you also put it into your hands, it's just melt. So this is her hair after applying the butter to her hair. Immediately her hair is feeling so soft and moisturized because her hair was feeling very, very dry. Now that's the good thing about this butter. So if you have curly, kinky, thick hair, this butter will work so great for you. So this is the end of Sonia wash the routine. I just throw her hair in big braids. Now her hair feels extremely, extremely soft and coated with butter and it's very moisturized. Now, if you are someone who have very thin hair, then I don't think this treatment will be good for you because it leaves her hair feeling so, so soft and way down, which I want because her hair was feeling so dry. And then I just moisturized her hair and threw it in her big braids. After three or four days, I will take the braids down and then just re-moisturize her hair. So if you love this video, please do not forget to give us a like, leave a comment down below and subscribe. And we will see you in our next video. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.